you're in like a dirty shirt. Yeah, that's no problem, Lloyd. We can be classy and sophisticated. Oh, look at the fun bags on that hose hound. I'd like to eat her liver with some farver beans and a nice bottle of key, Andy. <laughs> A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Did you know that the original screenplay for the 1994 movie Dumb and Dumber was actually written by legendary filmmaker John Hughes? Due to the deal that he made with the Farrelly brothers, however, his name was to be stripped from the project, including the script. Did you know that Jim Carrey was initially offered $350,000 for the role of Lloyd Christmas in Dumb and Dumber, but turned it down, asking for $400,000? The studio said no, but then Ace Ventura came out and was an unexpected hit. About a week after the film debuted, the studio agreed to the $400,000 price tag, but Carrie turned it down, wanting $500,000. The studio said no, but then Ace Ventura continued to rake in the money at the box office week after week. Round and round they went until a deal was struck for $7 million, which comprised about 44% of the entire $16 million budget of the film. Dumb and Dumber ultimately went on to gross around $250 million, about $430 million today. Did you know, in the movie Dumb and Dumber, after scamming Seabass to pay their bill, Harry asks Lloyd, I mean, where did you come up with a scam like that? I saw it in a movie once. Uh, the movie he's speaking of is Something Wild, and the guy who pulls the scam is also played by Jeff Daniels. <laughs> that was a good one. Did you know when Dumb and Dumber released in 1994, Lloyd's chip tooth is actually real. A kid jumped on Jim Carrey's head in detention when he was a child, and he had the tooth cap removed just to look even dumber. Did you know that during the filming of the 1994 movie Dumb and Dumber, actor Jim Carrey actually stayed the night at the Stanley Hotel and requested to stay in the infamous Room 217 made famous by Stephen King's The Shining? According to the tour guide at the hotel, about three hours after Carrey went to sleep, he came running out of the room and left the hotel. To this day, he vows to never go back, and he won't tell anybody why. Did you know that for his role in Dumb and Dumber, Jeff Daniels received only $50,000, while Jim Carrey had a $7 million paycheck? <laughs> 